Welcome to the second episode of the Comic Pal Video Reviews. You might notice things look a little different. I thought I'd try out a different format for this review. This time it comes out, I'll see which style I use going forward. This time around, we're discussing Avengers vs. X-Men Round 5. This episode is spoiler free, unlike last time, so feel free to watch it all the way through. Alright, well, when we last left off, Hope we convinced Wolverine to take her to the blue area of the moon, an area that for some reason you can breathe without a spacesuit. Unbeknownst to Hope, Wolverine had notified the Avengers, and thanks to telepathy, the X-Men found out and teleported there as well. As they waited for the Phoenix to arrive, they started to fight. Up until now, I hadn't really been enjoying Avengers vs. X-Men. The first four issues and most of the times have just been a global game of hide and go seek which mixed with hyper-violent tag as Hope ran away from both groups who fought each other whenever they met on Earth. So when this issue just picked up with the fighting again, I was considering not reading any more over this stupid story. I would have probably given up sooner if it hadn't involved the Phoenix, the biggest deal in the X-Men corner of the universe. Basically, with very few exceptions, it always populates a powerful telepath and then causes them to kill all their friends, and eventually entire worlds and galaxies. The Phoenix Force wants to possess Hope, the first mutant born since M-Day, which is when Scarlet Witch removed the powers of nearly all the mutants. Because of that birth and other circumstances that have happened in the past, Cyclops thinks that Hope is a mutant messiah and wants to let Hope get the Phoenix's powers in hopes of restoring all the other mutants' powers. The Avengers, on the other hand, don't want to chance the Earth being destroyed. In this issue, when Hope nearly kills everyone around her just by yelling stop, she finally realizes that everyone hasn't been telling her to watch out for the Phoenix just because grown-ups don't want her to have any fun or don't believe in her because she's a kid. Um, she really is dangerous. She can't control a Phoenix. So she asks Logan to kill her. This prompts Cyclops and Wolverine to end up in a replay of the whole schism story while Tony Stark builds a magical transformer to attack the Phoenix. And what happens next? Well, let's just say it actually restored my faith in this event. Comics often promise twist endings, but this issue actually delivers. I wasn't even prepared for a certain twist to happen, and this wasn't that twist at all. Um, I'd say if you were starting to give up on the Avengers vs. X-Men based on the previous issues, read this one. If you still aren't on board, then nothing they do will satisfy you. I give this issue 4 out of 5 stars. Just, 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 just